Hi, welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History. I'm Claire Ridgeway and I'm here with you every day of 2019 with On This Day in History events from the Tudor period such as battles, births, deaths, marriages, executions and more. Okay, today I'm taking you back to 1513. Oh, it's very bright here. In the reign of King Henry VIII, of course. Edmund de la Pole, 8th Earl of Suffolk, and a man who was a claimant to the English throne, was executed on this day on Tower Hill. He was then laid to rest at Great Friars without Oldgate in London. Now, Edmund and his brother Richard de la Pole were sons of John de la Pole, second Duke of Suffolk, and his wife Elizabeth Plantagenet, who was a sister of King Edward IV. So there you go, some links to the royalty there. They were also brothers, Edmund and Richard, of the John de la Pole, Earl of Lincoln, um, who was killed at the Battle of Stoke in King Henry VII's reign after he'd supported the crowning of a boy claiming to be the Earl of Warwick as King Edward VI in Dublin in 1487. So the Battle of Stoke had uh, killed um, their brother, John de la Pole, who'd of course been named after his father. Now, Edmund de la Pole, the man who we're talking about today, the man who was executed on this day in 1513, remained loyal to the English crown until the late 1490s, when he was indicted for murder. He fled, being indicted for murder, he fled to Saint-Omer, but was back again in 1500. Then he fled again without permission, without royal licence, joining his brother Richard at the court of the Holy Roman Emperor Maximilian, who Richard hoped would offer his support for Richard's claim to the English throne and also help with an invasion of England. Now, Edmund and Richard ended up being attainted by King Henry VII's Parliament in 1504, and Edmund was taken prisoner um, by the servants of the Duke of Geld, and then he was taken prisoner again by Archduke Philip, who was son of Emperor Maximilian. The Archduke handed Edmund over to King Henry VII, who then imprisoned him in the Tower of London. Edmund um, remained a prisoner um, on the accession of the new king, King Henry VIII, but he ended up, um, although he'd been a prisoner for these years, he ended up ending his life on the scaffold being uh, executed after his brother Richard uh, put forward the claim to the English throne in his own right and was recognised as King of England by King Louis XII of France. Uh, so because of his brother's actions, Edmund could no longer be a prisoner. He was executed for treason. Richard became Earl of Suffolk on Edmund's death and carried on plotting. However, Richard also came to a bad end, being killed at the Battle of Pavia in February 1525. So both brothers are uh, dead by that point, and of course their younger brother, um, I mean, sorry, their, I can't remember whether he was the older brother or younger brother, probably older brother, John de la Pole, had been killed at the Battle of Stoke in King Henry VII's reign. So a de la Pole we were talking about today, Edmund de la Pole, who was executed on this day in 1513 in the reign of King Henry VIII because of his, uh, his claim to the throne, but also his actions regarding that claim to the throne and the actions of his brother. Right, I'll be back again tomorrow with another Tudor history event for you. See you then. Bye-bye.